When I say Boker Tov, you say, Everybody come on, come on. Everybody, oh yeah, oh yeah. Everybody, uh huh, uh huh. Boker Tov. Boker Tov. Let's see if we can whisper. Are you ready? When I say Boker Tov, you say, When I say Boker Tov, you say, Everybody come on, come on. Everybody, oh yeah, oh yeah. Everybody, uh huh, uh huh. Um. Okay, let's do it really loud now. Are you ready? When I say Boker Tov, you say, when I say Boker Tov, you say, everybody come on, come on, everybody, oh yeah, oh yeah, everybody, oh, 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 oh. Boker Tov, Boker Tov, Lagba Omer Samea, I'm so happy to see everybody this morning, Maura Katria, can we call on the first of our friends to tell me what they do when they wake up in the morning? Yehuda. Yehuda, what do you do? I break my new stuff. With my, um, with my, my animals. Playing with his new animals. <gasps> you play with your new animals? Do you want to hold it up so we can see? <gasps> When I wake up in the morning, I play with my animals. When I wake up in the morning, I play with my animals. Okay, guys, let me hear you on this Tuesday morning. Bo care to, bo care to, bo 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 care to, bo care to, bo care to, bo 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 care to. I love that one. Thank you for sharing. Marka Tree, who else can we call on? Benji. Benji, what do you do? I have a toy sloth. A toy sloth? Yes, I play fit in the morning. <gasps> That's what you do when you wake up? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to sing that one. Thank you for sharing. When I wake up in the morning, I play with my toy sloth. When I wake up in the morning, I play with my toy sloth. Okay, guys. Um, what number should we do of volume? Can somebody show me a finger number? You can do a one, a two, a three, a four, or a five. What number? Oh, oh, my... Oh, oh, everybody said five. Okay, oh, I see one number one, but I see four number five. So we're gonna go for it. Let me hear you. Ready, go. Bo care to, bo care to, bo 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 care to. Bo care to, bo care to, bo 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 care to. Thank you, friends. We have one more friend we can call on. Maura Katria, who should we call on? Eliora? She's not here. Oh, oh, Talia, do you want to do it? No. No? Okay. Sarah Leia? Sarah Leia? Sarah Leia, what do you do when you wake up in the morning? I, I, did, I, I did, I didn't know. Do projects. You do projects. Wow, you guys are so busy when you wake up in the morning. You play with your toys, animals, or you play with your sloth, or you just start off with projects. Oh my goodness, you're so busy. I love it. Ready? When I wake up in the morning, I do projects. When I wake up in the morning, I do projects. Okay, let me hear you whisper. Ready? Boker Tov, Yellow Deep. I'm so happy to see all of your beautiful faces this morning. We're going to start our davening with Maura from me, and then we may go straight to our calendar with Maura Angela.
did it. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. We open our sea door with love. And sing Hashem from above. My heart is resting with joy as I tap into you. Each letter is a death so precious to Hashem. I grab it with my sea door every single day. Each letter is a gem, so precious to Hashem. I dive in with my seed door every single day. I'm going to continue. We open one eye, we open two. We say, Moza Ani, because it means thank you. We wash our eye in six times. That's true. Cause that's what every Jewish boy must do. Moda ani lefanacha, melacha v'kayam shechazar. Tafi nishmati b'chema, haba emunatacha. You're getting your little Torahs. Hold it tight. Little Torah, little Torah. Let me hold you tight. Teach me, teach me all the mitzvot. Teach me what is right. The Torah teaches every Jew. Torah, Torah, I love you. Torah, 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 we should always give to to help poor people in medicine to keep them well, close to keep them warm. Lots of food to eat and shoes for our feet. Ay, 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 tzedakha. Ay, 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 tzedakha. Lots of food to eat and shoes for our feet. Do you know your yad yame? Do you know your yad yame? Let's close our ain ayame and absolutely no peaking. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Hashem is here, Hashem is here, Hashem is truly everywhere. Up, up, down, down, right, left, and all around here, there, and everywhere. That's where he can be found. Up, up, down, down, right, left, and all around here, there, and everywhere. That's where we can be found. Aleph, bet, bet, aleph, bet, bet, gimbal's all the way, gimbal's all the way, bottom's all the way, bottom's all the way, bottom's all the way. Yud kaf kaf, yud kaf kaf, lam and mem nun, lam and mem nun, samachayim beis beis, samachayim beis beis, sadiku chrish, sadiku chrish, shen en shen en ha. Good morning, hi friends. We're gonna do the calendar. Yesterday was Monday, May 11th. So if yesterday was Monday, today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, May, what comes after 11? 12. Today is Tuesday, May 12th. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, it's Tuesday, today. Do it faster. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, it's Tuesday, today. Good job. I'm going to have my needs and we're going to do the days of the week. Oh, wait, we did that yesterday. We're going to do the other one. Days of the week. 
days the week. Days the week, days the week, days the week. There's Sunday, then there's Monday. There's Tuesday, then there's Wednesday. There's Thursday, then there's Friday. Then there is Shabbat, days the week. Days the week. Days the week, days the week, days the week. Good job. I'm gonna do the months of the year. Ready? January, February, March, and April, May, and June, and July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Twelve, twelve, twelve months coming. Twelve, twelve, twelve months coming. Twelve, twelve. 12 months coming. These are the months of the year. Good job. Okay, my friends, we're going to do an activity, but first I have to move. So what are you going to do? You're going to take a breath. So you could choose a breathing and do it, or if you don't feel like breathing and you just want to stand up and move your body, you can do that too. Okay, so give me a minute. Oh, I also should tell you that one of our caterpillars went into their cocoon and the other ones are at the top. I don't want to touch it because if I touch it, they move really fast and I don't want to damage them. But today I'm going to take a picture of it and I'll post it so that you can see them. Okay. Does anybody remember what I was going to do today? Moritia told you yesterday. I see some hands up. I was going to show you what you could do oops, with egg cartons. So I'm gonna move this down a little bit so you can see. So just like I did with the toilet paper rolls, we're gonna do some crafts, but with the egg carton. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna tell you what it's, actually I'm not gonna tell you what it's gonna be. So first I'm just gonna break it in half because I don't need all of these pieces. Maybe you could guess what you think it's gonna be. So, I already took the top off. Okay, so I don't need this, so I'm gonna put it over here. So I have this part of my egg carton. This has one, two, three, four, five, six spots. I have a straw, but it's kind of big, so I'm gonna cut it into two pieces. And I'm gonna put them on the top. So I didn't tell you what this is gonna be, so you could think, what do you think it's gonna be? I also have a paper, and I'm gonna cut a triangle shape, kind of. I'm gonna cut two, because I have two straws. So there's one. I'm gonna cut out another one. What do you think it's gonna be? If you wanted to, you could color this to decorate it. I'm gonna safely poke a hole at the top and the bottom of the paper. And look, I'm gonna put it in the straw. I'm gonna put the other one. Ugh, it's a little tricky. There we go. So I've got one side. Now I'm gonna put, what do I need on this paper? I need two holes. I'm gonna put one at the top and I'll put one at the bottom. Be safe when you're doing this so you don't poke your, your fingers. You could ask for help if you need it. So I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna put it here. My papers are a little bit big, so maybe you have to make it smaller. And look! What does this look like to you? I hope it looks like a ship because it's supposed to be a ship. So this is how you can make a ship. Oops, if you wanted to decorate it, you could paint this part or you could draw on it or you could decorate this part. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down so you have a ship. Now, the next thing, I'm gonna take this and I actually only need one part. 
I think this one I'll tell you. I'm going to make a spider. Do you think I could make a spider? Okay, so I just need one egg piece, so I'm going to take this again. You don't really need scissors for this. It's so simple, you could just tear it, but if you need to use scissors, you could, but I think it's kind of easy to just do one. Okay, so I have one. So what do you think my spider needs first? I'm gonna give it some eyes. Maybe, maybe he could have blue eyes. Okay, so your spider can have eyes. Maybe you could give him a little mouth, a little smiley face. Okay, if you wanted to, you could color your spider like all around the body. I'm not gonna do that right now, but how many legs does a spider have? Do you know? It has six legs. So I'm gonna cut off some paper. If you have pipe cleaners, you could use pipe cleaners and you could probably cut them or you could use paper like I'm using paper. So this is kind of long, yeah? Also pretty thick. I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner. So see, I'm cutting them into small pieces. It's kind of hard to see because it's white paper on my white desk. But I have three spots right there. So I have one, two, three, four. It has eight legs. It has eight legs? Did you catch it? Talia says it has eight legs. Should we give it eight legs? Nice job, Talia. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess it depends on what spider. Okay. Because you never know. So I'm going to glue it. It might be kind of tricky. One. Eight legs. Eight legs. Another eight legs. You guys are really paying attention. So you could give it some legs. If you want to fold the paper out. See like that? And then you could do it on this side. Really, you could use pipe cleaners and it might look more like, like legs, but that's okay. Paper still works too. You could even use tissue paper or, and there you go, whoop! You have a little spider. And you can make it look more, like you could color it, you could give it a face, you could give it a happy face, or a hungry face, I don't know, whatever you wanna do. Okay, so I'm gonna put this away. The next one, I'm gonna put these away. I'm gonna use another, just one egg carton, and I have one that I saved from the one that we cut. So I have one egg carton. This, I'm gonna make a jellyfish. So I'm gonna give my little jellyfish two eyes. Give him a little mouth. Again, you can color it or paint it to decorate it. And this time, I have this. I've got some tissue paper. And I'm gonna cut it in half. So you could use paper, you could use colored paper, you can use tissue paper, whatever. Oops, I wrote the face upside down. Here, let's do it on this side. If you make a mistake, that's okay. There's the eye, there's the eye. Now he's got two faces, but they're upside down. So this one, you're gonna glue it on the inside. So I'm gonna put glue on the inside because jellyfish have what? They have tentacles. Oops, there's his face. So I'm gonna put one in. I'm gonna put one in. And actually, Maura Debra would say that it's not a jellyfish because it's not technically a fish. This is actually supposed to be just called a jelly. And if you don't remember that video, you can watch it on the channel. Look, there's your jelly. And that was just using one piece of an egg carton. Okay, I'm gonna put that down. The next one I have, I have two more. This one I already started. I used a paper plate 
and I cut out the middle and I put, and now I'm gonna put it down. I also already cut these into different pieces. If you wanted to, you could make a pretty wreath. If you don't have a paper plate, you could use paper or maybe a cardboard box if people are getting packages. So look, I'm just gonna take my egg, the piece, and I'm just gonna glue it onto the paper plate. And you could make a pretty wreath that you could put in your house. This one, if you wanted to paint the egg cartons before, or you color it so that when you glue it on, it will be pretty and decorated. You could even make it look like flowers. Whoop! But if you want to color it and decorate it, maybe you should do it. You should do it before you glue it. But that's how it would be. I don't want to tip it up because it's not dry. But see, it's a beautiful ink carton wreath, and it could be a pretty spring decoration. Okay, so I'm gonna show you one more time, and then I'm gonna put it down. I have one more. This one, I have this part of the egg carton, and I have a piece of paper. You could choose to cut it or tear it into single pieces, or you could just do it like this. So you could glue it to the page, or you could break it up into different pieces. And then you could make You could make it a tree. I just wanna quickly show you the brown color. It's not gonna look so much like a tree right now. But see? And then you could do this part green. Or if you wanted to make apples on it, you could do a pattern of green and red and you could choose if you wanna keep it together like this or if you wanna break them and make it look different. So this is also how you could make a tree. So there's so many different things that you could do with them. If you make one of these things or if you do something different, you can ask your parents to take a picture of it and you can show it to us. So nice job, my friends. Have fun. Thank you so much, Mark, for me, for your lovely davening. It was so nice to hear your song. We're going to do our counting of the Omer first, and then we're going to do something very special. Mark Angela has a fireplace, and we're going to do something for Lagba Omer. And so let's start counting the Omer. Are you ready? We're counting, we're counting the days. Hi, yum, yum, echad, we're on our way. From Pesach until Shavuot time. Seven times seven is 49. The days, the weeks are going by. We count all the days till we stood at Har Sinai. The day that we love is Chag HaShavuot, when Hashem gave us the Torah and Mitzvot. Are you ready to count along with me? Remember our special day? That's today. 33, Lag Omer. So let's count together. Ready? Oh, I already told you the number. That's okay. Try to remember it and then you can say it later. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. What comes after 32? Do you remember? Did you say 33? You're right. I'm going to color it in, but I'm not going to make this one into a flower. Because on Lagba Omer, we celebrate with a bonfire. So I'm going to draw a fire on here. I'm going to color it with yellow. You do a little red in there if you want. Make it look really fiery. My red's about to break. And then we're going to write the number. We're going to write 33 is 3, 3, 33. Happy Lagba Omer. Okay. Now we get to do a special celebration. We're gonna have a little bit of a freeze dance party. Maura Angela is gonna put on her fireplace 
and we're gonna highlight it and I've got some music here so everybody get up out of your seats because we're gonna do some freeze dancing are you ready more Katria keep me on and and let's do the fire can you hear it Can you walk? music and I'm gonna go ahead and share that on our whatsapps so you could do some dancing later too thanks everyone we're gonna to go to more for me again for a story hi good morning today we're gonna to read a book about an egg because more angels at an egg project and then I'm gonna show you a page of a log but Omer book because today's log but Omer is such a special day this is a Richard Scary book we love Richard Scary this one's called Egg in the Hole, and it's about a chicken. What's the egg? You see the egg? Okay, ready? One day up in the hayloft of the barn, Henny laid an egg. The egg rolled through a hole, oops, in the floor to room down below. Oh my, I hope I haven't lost it, she said. Henny rushed down the stairs to the room below. Have you seen my egg, asked Henny. Yes, I have, said the billy goat. It fell on my ice cream plop. Then I rolled along the table and went out the window. Uh-oh. Henny hurried to the window. Have you seen my egg, she asked. Yes, I have, said the little bird. It rolled along the rain gutter and then went down the hole. Henny ran outside where Pig was sitting. Have you seen my egg, asked Henny. I'm afraid I have lost it. Your egg just hit me on the head, and said Pig. It rolled down my back, through my curly tail, and across the barnyard. Henny ran across the barnyard. Has an egg of mine passed by this way, she asked Goosey. It was just a minute ago that I saw your egg roll through the fence, said Goosey. Roll all the way through the fence. Penny ran on until she came to Bunny, who was painting 
the eggs. I am looking for my egg. Have you seen it? She asked him. Why, yes, said the bunny. A cute little egg just rolled into the hollow log. I tried to catch it so I could paint it. And he rushed to the other end of the log. She saw her egg just before it rolled into a hole in the ground. My egg, my egg, she cried. I have lost it. I have lost it. Just then. From out of the hole appeared a tiny mouse. Honey, he said, I have found your egg, but something very special happened. It is broken and is in a lot of pieces, but if you look closely, you will see that you have a brand new baby chicken in its place. Hendy was so pleased. She had lost her egg, but now she was so happy to have a baby chicken instead. You would be too, wouldn't you? Hi, Mommy, said the baby chick. Aw, you. And I have this book. It's called the Happy Yomto book, and it's a fun book. It's written and illustrated by Miriam Land, who I actually know who she is. And every page is a different ha -ha holiday, and this page is a log of Omer page. That I'll share it with you because today's Log of Omer. It says Log of Omer picnic. Dance around the bonfire high at the cave of Rav Shibo Bar Yochai. The children are playing with arrows and bows. Today we can listen to music, you know. Little Avram Yitzchak is happy as can be. He is getting a haircut because he is three. And there's a bonfire and they're dancing around for Log of Omer. This is the cave of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, where people go to I Israel to. You don't need a haircut. And then here they're doing haircut. races. Oh, yeah, and look, these people, I these need, people I need a haircut. Well, today's the day we can do, do music and haircuts. Fun day, right? Maybe we'll do a bonfire and barbecues. Okay, that's it. Marty's gonna say goodbye. Outside, you mean? I mean outside. Thank you everyone for joining us today. Have a happy, happy Log Omer. May this day bring you so much happiness and joy and dancing and music and just a great day of festivities. I can't wait to see you all tomorrow. If you're in the Geshem class, you're gonna stay on the call because you get to do your care and share next. And tomorrow we're gonna start learning about our next holiday, Shavuot. It's gonna be so exciting. Thank you everybody and let's sing our goodbye. Shalom Chavarim, Shalom Chavarim, Shalom, Shalom. Let road, let road, Shalom, Shalom. Goodbye, my friends, have peace, my friends, have peace, have peace. Till we meet again, till we meet again. Have peace, have peace. Shalom, Chavarim, Shalom, Chavarim, Shalom, Shalom. Let him throw, let him throw. Shalom, 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 Shalom. My friends, I just looked up and I think one of our caterpillars in my house is actually turning into a chrysalis right now. I'm going to move the computer over really quickly just so I can share with you. And then, let me see if you can see them. Let's see. Can you see them starting to move into their chrysalis? Give me a thumbs up if you can see. It's shaking back and forth slowly. And it's starting to turn into its chrysalis. That's so exciting. Have a wonderful day, everybody.